With many districts making modifications to how they deliver instruction as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, the FOSS program has developed and refined resources for educators to use during these times. These resources have been organized into a matrix so educators can best select which interactions meet their needs. FOSS recommends a focus on building a community of science learners when using these resources, a community in which students are engaged in discussions with their families, peers, and teachers. This video provides a walkthrough of where to find these resources. In order to access these resources, log into your FOSS web account and go to the module you are preparing to teach. All K-5 modules now have a node titled Fall 2020 Teaching FOSS. It is the first resource listed under Teaching the Module. The first document in this area is called Designing Your FOSS Instruction. This document is the same for all grades 3 through 5 modules. There's a different document for all grades K through 2 modules. It is a read-only Google Doc. In it, you'll find recommendations for in-person learning, describing how to do science at school in person safely. Synchronous learning recommendations, including how to set up your classroom or home office for teaching remotely, how and when to record videos of yourself, and materials distribution. Asynchronous learning recommendations, including new student-facing videos for select parts in Earth and Physical Science modules, and the homeschool connections activities. The next resource you'll see in the Fall 2020 Teaching FOSS node is the Navigation Matrix. The Navigation Matrix is a living document that is frequently updated. It is the crux of the FOSS Fall 2020 Teaching Resources. The first column of suggestions are for in-person learning. There are times when you may need to rethink materials use to maintain physical distancing. The middle three columns provide information for synchronous learning, though some suggestions may also be used for asynchronous learning. The column titled Modified Instruction will point out modifications to what is in the Investigations Guide. It will often show modifications to the introduction, activity, and discussion. Some of these steps can be done asynchronously. However, we strongly urge class discussions to happen in a synchronous environment. The next column shows a list of materials teachers will need from the kit. You may need to plan ahead and get items for several parts at once if you have limited access to your classroom. Some districts may allow teachers to send materials home to students, so the last column in the synchronous section lists materials from the kit and items commonly found at home that students can use. In some cases, we do not recommend that students use the materials at home because there could be safety issues particularly with no in-person teacher supervision. The final column in the matrix lists asynchronous resources. These are activities that students can do fairly independently. However, as with any asynchronous learning, student engagement has the potential to drop off. We encourage you to give them a few activities to engage with deeply. At the top of this column, there is a link to a homeschool connection page with resources in English and Spanish. There you will find letters to send home to families and activities for each investigation. Some of the activities are newly developed for at-home learning. Below this row, the matrix lists resources for each part. They are not all required, but rather are a listing of all the resources you could use with your students. Educators need to think critically about the timing on these so students and families can be successful. Included is a link to the resources by investigation area of FOSWeb for the module. You must be logged into FOSWeb in order to open the resources. This column also has direct links to homeschool connection activities for each part. Finally, this column also lists any new student videos we've created. Each physical and earth science module in grades 3 through 5 will have up to four new short student videos. We'll see those in more detail in a few minutes. You may notice some parts do not have any recommendations from us. This is because the nature of this school year, whether you are teaching in person or remotely, makes it too difficult for the active learning activities to unfold naturally. We do not normally recommend skipping parts of the investigations. However, we are in very special circumstances right now. 
Many districts are creating their own pathways through these resources. Please check with your district regarding these decisions. Let's take a look at the student side to see what resources are available there. As a teacher, you can always view the student pages by going to My Class Pages and clicking on Assign Content, then finding the module you are working with. However, you should also be familiar with how students log on. There is a separate walkthrough video that you can share with students and families that shows how to log on and where to find resources. From the FOSWeb homepage, students enter their username and password in the same area that you as a teacher do. From their student page, they click on the module cover they are using. There is now a new item under Media Library titled Remote Learning Resources. Students will see a link for each investigation there. Clicking on the link brings students to a page of remote learning resources for most parts of each investigation. Links to readings will open up the interactive ebook for students. There are also links to existing multimedia on FOSWeb. Students will find links to both homeschool connection activities and new at home activities. Finally, this page links to any new student videos we've developed for the module. The new student videos were developed to be an asynchronous resource. However, we found that they can also be used synchronously. Additionally, particularly before students view the first one, you should plan on doing some instructions about how to use it, how they'll use notebooks, for example, or how they will provide their work to you. Likewise, plan on spending some time with students after viewing to help them process the content. Most videos will pose a focus question that students can write down in their notebooks. Then, they'll have footage of an activity that is normally done during class time, with guidance around when to pause the video to write in their notebooks. If you are showing the video during synchronous learning time, you can also have students capture their thinking through technology, such as on a Jamboard, Padlet, or Google Doc. There will not be videos for every activity or every part, but rather videos of a few critical activities in physical and earth science grades three through five modules. These videos can also serve as models for teachers wanting to create their own videos. As FOSS believes the connection between educators and students is even more important during these times. Finally, back on the teacher page, we have added to our existing notebook resources to make it easier for students to share their work with you. In addition to the full and half size notebook sheets, we also have form filled PDFs. New this year for all grades three through five modules are Google Doc versions of our notebook sheets as well. When thinking about how to use notebooks and which resource to use, please think about the following issues. The purpose of the notebooks, documenting the work of scientists and a way to communicate understanding. Accessibility issues and availability of district tech support. And student agency in representing their thinking. More information on using Google Docs and Google Classroom with FOSS can be found in the FOSS and Google Classroom FAQ available on each module page. Please check the news page on FOSSweb for an up-to-date list of current and recently added resources. We hope you find these resources helpful and engaging. Thank you for watching the walkthrough video and, more importantly, for the work you are doing for your students. If you need more help accessing resources on FOSWeb, please visit our walkthrough videos page, our help pages, or contact us using the form on our help pages.